she's looking for the right man in all the wrong places. And so your calling is not to be hanging out in such places. There has to be a separation. So you have to work with people. The scripture even teaches that. Then you need to go out of the world if you're going to separate yourself from them. But you have to work with them. You have to deal with them. But the fact is, you cannot allow their attitude, their emotions, to change you. Jesus did say that the only thing that separates or gives you the right to be free to marry again is the act of fornication. And the elder didn't go into this because you, they were supposed, supposedly to be church folks. And church folks don't participate in things of this nature. But if she had gone out or if he had gone out and it then involved sexual activities with another woman, then she would have had every right to remarry again because marriage is dissolved through the act of fornication. And Jesus told that in St. Matthew. And so to make that a little bit more in depth, to give a little bit more understanding that marriage can be done again after marriage if there's fornication involved in the marriage that sets you free. And that's found in St. Matthew. Amen?
came up in this church. We want a righteous society. And the only way that you can have a righteous society is that things must come to the forefront that everybody might know, so there won't be no misjudgment. Well, I think this or I think that. No, what does the word of God say? And you base your feelings on what the word of God says. Then you're right. How then you're right up. So when, you know, when people come to the minister and they talk about certain situations, that's between them, God, and the minister. What did he say? I'll pray for you. I'll pray with you. But you have no business going downtown. We don't have any business downtown, of course. And so it's, it's between. And, and people don't like their, you know, business to be spread all over. But when you step outside and do something openly, them that sin before. 